Hi, I'm Mitzi. If you're like me, you want to work in computers, but how do you tell the difference between all the different courses? Like information technology, information systems, computer science and games technology. How do you tell what they're all about and which one's right for you? Let's go have a look. create worlds so people can play and have a different experience to reality. So if we were going to build a game, say prehistoric Mortal Kombat, and these are our two main characters, T-Rex and Bronte. Bronte, okay. So we've got all our art here, we've got all our design, we know what we want to happen, so now we need to look at the programming side. What we need to do is create a physics engine. We need to replicate the real world. These characters will be made out of hundreds, possibly thousands of little triangles to make it look good. So instead of just colliding two objects, we have to collide a few hundred triangles with a few hundred more. And we have to check each triangle touches. If they don't touch, they haven't collided. So you can pretty quickly see that that would take forever. It would be the slowest game in the world. So instead of taking all the triangles from this guy, we use a collection of, for this I'd use maybe five simple shapes. And we collide these with a simple set of objects for Bronte. So here's a layout for Bronte you can put on him. So now, instead of colliding a few hundred triangles, we've now got five, eight simple shapes to collide. What the audience sees is these two dinosaurs running at each other, but what the game sees behind the scene are all these shapes heading towards each other. And it's only when these shapes touch, the game will know that these guys have collided. Right, so that sounds like a lot to learn. How do you learn all that stuff? We start with game design and physics. And then moving through the course, we continue into graphic rendering, networking, parallel computing. And in the final years, we do major games projects involving teams of students developing some substantial games, and then whatever future technologies are available. So I guess the games careers are pretty obvious, right? Well, yes and no. A lot of the graduates move into things such as movie animation and special effects. We've had past students go to a few companies such as DreamWorks and LucasArts. Fancy. Games technology is just a specific channel in the computer science degree, so as well as being skilled in games development, you're also a skilled computer scientist, so you can go on to work in pretty much anywhere related to computers. The options are too long to list, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, have you got any games I can play?